बिसमीम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी पावर एंड टॉर्क इन इंडक्शन मोटर फर्स्ट वी विल स्टडी द लॉसिस एंड दी पावर फ्लो डायग्राम एंड देन वी विल स्टडी दी पावर एंड टॉर्क इन इंडक्शन मोटर एज वी नो इन एन ऑर्डनरी ट्रांसफार्मर द इनपुट इज द इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर एंड द आउटपुट इज ऑल्सो द इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर फ्रॉम द सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग बट इन एन इंडक्शन मोटर द इनपुट इज द इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर बट द आउटपुट इज द मकैनिकल पावर फ्रॉम द रोटर शॉफ्ट हाउ एवर द सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग ऑन द रोटर शॉफ्ट इज शॉर्ट सर्किटेड Uh, the relationship between the input electrical power and the output mechanical power of an induction motor is shown here in power flow diagram in which this is the p input and this is the p output and these are the losses occur inside the induction motor now we are going to study these losses and the relationship between the power input and power output Uh, one by one now i am going to draw this here like this this is p out which is equal to t load omega m and this is p input which is equal to under root 3 v terminal i l cos of theta The first loss encountered in the machine are I two square losses in the stator winding, the stator copper loss, P S C L. So when we connected the induction motor to the uh, um, to the external supply, the power flow through the stator winding and the first losses occur in the stator are the stator copper losses, which is shown here like that. these are p s c l stator copper loss stator copper loss after this stator copper loss uh, there are core losses the second losses encountered in the machine are core losses because some amount of power is lost as high stresses and eddy currents in this stator so these losses comes after Copper losses are denoted here like that. These are P core core losses. The power remaining at this point is transferred to the rotor of the machine across the air gap between the stator and the rotor. This power is called the air gap power. After the copper loss, there is air gap. And air gap power. air gap power is the power which is reached at this point this power is uh, high a little bit high then this loss occur then this loss occur and then air gap power reach at this point uh, in core losses there are there is also stator core and rotor core and air gap some losses encountered here and why we encountered these core losses before the air gap we will study later but uh, here we will study that the core losses will uh, occur before the air gap after the air gap the the power is transferred to the rotor and some of it is lost as i square losses there is induction takes place in the rotor winding and because of this induction there is the uh, rotor current and because of the rotor current there are rotor copper losses 
which are i2 scale or and which can be denoted as p or c n rotor copper loss this is power is converted at this point from uh, electrical to mechanical because after rotor rotor starts moving and now power is converted after moving there are some two losses occur again which are friction and windage losses and strain losses uh, friction and windage friction losses some frictions of the bearing some losses occur there and windage losses means uh, there is also friction of rotor with air some air is present and some losses occur because of this friction these are the windage losses and strain losses are some misc losses like uh, some lo arbitrary losses losses which left behind can be subtracted at this point so it can be denoted here like that this is p friction and windage losses after this stray losses which are arbitrary after this losses there is the p out this p out is available to the load which is equal to the t load omega m now we are going to study about the nature of the core losses why core losses occur before the air gap because the uh, rotor is moving near synchronous speed when rotor is moving near the synchronous speed the relative motion between the rotor and the stator magnetic field is very small and because of this uh, relative motion is very small the core losses the current induced in the rotor is also very small and the core losses are very small as compared to the stator losses stator core losses stator core losses is very high rotor core losses at near synchronous speed so that's why these core losses will represent in this figure before the air gap uh, now after these core losses uh, we will study about the nature of this friction and windage losses one concept related to the friction and windage losses is that the higher the speed of an induction motor the higher its friction and windage and stray losses that uh, means when the uh, rotor is moving with the high speed there will be p friction is very high and windage the uh, rotor colliding with the air is very high and these losses are very high as compared to the low speed so p friction and windage losses are directly proportional to the speed and stray losses also uh, but when we compare the p core losses the p core losses are very small when the speed is high when rotor is moving towards near the synchronous speed the core losses are very small uh, so these three p core losses p core plus p friction and windage plus p stray collectively called as rotational losses and these rotational losses also considered as constant 
because when speed is increasing these increases these increases and this one decrease by somehow an equal amount and the total rotational losses will remain constant now we are going to solve example 7.2 the example state that a 480 volt 60 hertz 50 horsepower three phase induction motor is drawing 60 ampere at 0.85 power factor lagging the stator copper losses are example 72 uh first thing is voltage 480 volt frequency is equal to 60 hertz three phase induction power i is equal to 60 ampere power factor cos theta is equal to 0.85 lagging and the stator copper losses are pscl is equal to 2 kilowatt the rotor copper losses are prcl 700 watt rotor copper loss the friction and windage losses p friction and windage losses are 600 watt and the core losses are Eighteen hundred watt. Stray losses are negligible. Find the following quantities. Number A is the air gap. P of air gap. In order to calculate the P of air gap, we will mm, go towards the power flow diagram. this is we have to calculate this p air gap this from this figure p air gap is equal to this p in p in minus this loss p copper loss minus this loss it will equal to this p stator copper loss minus p core loss first of all p input p input is equal to under root 3 vt il cos of theta under root 3 480 is equal to 42.4 kilowatt and p of air gap is equal to p input minus p stator copper loss minus p core loss p in is 42.40 42.4 minus 2 minus 1.8 kilowatt Is equal to thirty-eight point six kilowatt. The second thing for this calculation is power converted. Again, for this concept, we will again move towards the power flow diagram. This is the power converted. here power converted is equal to p air gap minus p rotor copper loss p of air gap minus p rotor copper loss it is equal to p converted
P air gap minus P rotor copper loss. P of air gap is we already calculated 38.6 kilowatt minus P rotor copper loss 700 watt is equal to 37.9 kilowatt. Now part C the output power. For this again we are moving towards the power flow diagram. This P out is equal to P converted minus P friction windage minus P stray. P out is equal to P converted minus P friction and windage minus P stray from this figure. So P out is equal to P converted minus P friction and windage and minus P stray or P misc. So P converted we calculated here is 37.9 kilowatt minus P friction 600 watt minus 0 and it becomes 37.3 kilowatt. This is the P output. Now part D efficiency. Efficiency. We already know the formula of the efficiency is P out divided by P in multiplied by 100%. This is the efficiency. P out here is this. This is the P out which is 37.3 kilowatt and P in we already calculated here. P in is this which is 42.4 so it will become 88% so our induction motor is 88% efficient so now you can compare it with the transformer the transformer efficiency is approximately around about 97, 96 or 95 and here it is 88 because there are some frictional and windage losses and core losses are high and stray losses. Uh, till now we study the power flow diagram and the losses. And now we are going to study the power and torque in an induction motor. Uh, this is the figure shows the per phase equivalent circuit of an induction motor. This equivalent circuit we already uh, the drive in the previous lecture. From this equivalent circuit we are going to explain the uh, power different powers which are the end losses. First losses is the stator copper losses stator copper loss in the three phases are given by hmm, stator copper losses in the three phase are given as pscl is equal to 3 from this figure This is I1, R1. This is the resistance of the stator. This is the stator current. So it is equal to 3 I1 square R1 stator copper loss. Whereas the core loss, P core loss is given as 3 E1 square GC or 
this is e1 voltage at the core which it can also be written as 3 e1 square over rc these are the core loss and the air gap power air gap power we already calculated from the power flow diagram which is p air gap is equal to p in minus p scl minus p core in the last example we did like that the other formula of the air gap is that the um, that from this figure this is here is the air gap after this air gap there is the rotor current and this resistor so the only element in the equivalent circuit where the air gap power can be consumed is in the resistor r2 by s therefore the air gap power can also be given as the other formula of p air gap in the terms of resistance is 3 i2 square r2 by s and the rot rotor copper loss can be given as p r c l is equal to 3 i2 square r2 it can also be written as 3 i r square r r this i2 and r r is the same after this rotor copper loss this power converted have to calculate the power converted which is from power flow diagram the power converted is equal to p of air gap minus p of rcl we already did this in last example we already used this formula uh, in terms of the resistance the power converted p air gap is this this is the p air gap and p r c l is this by putting both this one is here and this one is here p air gap is 3 i 2 square r 2 by s minus 3 i 2 square r 2 taking common 3 i2 square r2 into this is the common 3 i2 square r2 s is equal to 1 minus s so this is the power converted power converted in terms of the resistance this is the formula of power converted in terms of the resistance another relation which can be driven from these two equation is p of air gap is 3 into i2 square r2 by s and p of rcl is equal to 3 i2 square r2 this and this is same so putting p rcl here it will become p of rcl divided by s is equal to p of ag and p of air gap this formula driven like that Uh, from this formula it can be expressed as if s is equal to 0 or 0 0.1 or 1 or very small the power consumed in the rotor copper loss is very small so more power is converted toward 
mechanical power because power consumed here is very small but when slip s is equal to 1 all of this power is consumed in the rotor copper loss and p out is 0 this is logical as he also said this is logical since if the rotor is not turning the output power p out must be 0 as p out is equal to 0 all the power is consumed in the copper losses Uh, no P converted P converted from the power flow diagram is equal to P of air gap minus P of rotor copper loss this is if like that and rotor lo copper loss is equal to this one S of P of AG so it will become 1 minus s into p of ag this is the power converted so at the end p out p out from the power flow diagram is Uh, P out from the power flow diagram is P converted uh, some problem occur here at uh, one node so again P out from so this P out is equal to P converted minus p friction and windage losses minus p stray losses so we will reach towards the p out finally the induced torque the induced torque in a machine was defined as the torque generated by the internal electric to mechanical power conversion the induced torque right in the power flow diagram at this end here induced torque will occur here and the induced torque minus this torque minus this torque will become the output torque so the induced torque can be calculated as torque induced is equal to p converted at this point where electrical power is converted into mechanical divided by the rotor speed uh, from this P converted we calculate it is equal to 1 minus S of P G here putting this and omega M value here it will become 1 minus S P A G over 1 minus S W synchronous So torque induced can be calculated in terms of uh, power uh, uh, air gap and synchronous speed. So now it is independent of the uh, rotor speed at that point. So through these two speeds and power the torque induced can also be calculated. Now we are going to separate the rotor couple losses and power converted in an induction motor equivalent circuit. From the previous calculation. Uh, we can see that a part of the power coming across the air gap in an induction motor is consumed in the rotor copper losses and the part of it is converted to mechanical power to drive the motor shaft. Like this, the air gap power is the power which would be consumed in a resistor of value R2S. We already studied that P of air gap is equal to 3 I2 square R2 by S. 
वेयर एज द रोटर कॉपर लॉसेज और द पावर विच वुड बी कंज्यूम इन आर रजिस्टर एंड दिस वी ऑलरेडी स्टडी इज इक्वल टू थ्री आई टू स्केयर आर टू एंड वी ऑलरेडी स्टडी फ्रॉम द पावर फ्लो डायग्राम डेट द पावर कन्वर्टेड इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम इज द पावर कन्वर्टेड विच मस्ट देयर फॉर बी द पावर कंज्यूम्ड इन अ रजिस्टर ऑफ वैल्यू दैट रजिस्टर वैल्यू वी कैन कैलकुलेट फ्राम हेयर दिस इज एयर गैप माइनस रोटर कॉपर लॉस टेकिंग आर टू कॉमन this will become 1 power s minus 1 and when we solve it it will become 1 minus s so this is the resistance of power conversion which would be inserted inside the circuit and if we redraw the circuit of equivalent circuit considering rotor cover loss and power converted like this the equivalent circuit of induction motor will become modify like that i am going it to so draw it quickly here is the change this is r2 rotor copper loss and this is the power conversion rotor which is 1 minus s power s this is the p converted the remaining are the same r1 j of x1 j of x2 rc j of xm and e1 uh now we are going to solve example number 7.3 example number 7.3 states that a 460 volt example 7.3 volt is equal to 460 volt 25 horse power 60 hertz four pole wire connected has the following impedances r1 is equal to 0.641 r2 is equal to 0.332 x1 is equal to 1.106 x2 is equal to 0.464 and xm is equal to 26.3 ohm the total rotational losses now he is giving he is giving rotational losses not copper losses and frictional and vintage losses he is giving combinedly the rotational losses which are the 1100 watts the core losses is lumped in with the rotational losses for a rotor slip of 2.2% slip is equal to 2.2% at the rated voltage and rated frequency find the motor speed first thing to find is speed as you all know the formula of the synchronous speed to calculate the synchronous speed is given as n is equal to 120 fe over p 120 into 60 divided by 4 is equal to 1800 revolutions per minute 
and to convert these revolutions into radian into 2 pi radian divided by 60 second it will become 188.5 radian per second this is the synchronous speed of the magnetic field and what is the rotor field is equal to 1 minus s into n synchronous 1 minus 0 0.022 into 1800 it will equal to 1760 revolutions per minute So same WM is equal to 1 minus S into W synchronous it is equal to 1 minus 0 0.022 into 118.5 it is equal to 184.4 radian per second. Second thing here which is to be calculated is this stator current. Stator current. Stator current is this one. In order to calculate this one, all these resistances have to be calculated, Z equivalence, and then stator current will have to be calculated. To find the stator current, get the equivalent impedance of the circuit. The first step is to combine the referred rotor impedance in parallel with the magnetization branch and then to add the stator impedances to that combination in series. The referred rotor impedance. First Z2 is equal to R2 by S plus J of X2. 0 0.332 divided by 0 0.022 plus j 0 0.464 solving it it will become 15.10 angle 1.76 this z2 branch is in parallel with magnetization branch and solving the parallel magnetization branch it will it formula will become like that this formula as you know the parallel circuit is equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 combining all the circuit divided by 1 this multiply by this this r become so the it will become like that i am driving this formula so you can understand how this formula comes r1 plus r2 so in the parallel circuit the equivalent resistance can also be calculated like that so here he is using this formula after using this formula the value will become 1 over minus j 0. 038 plus 0 0.0662 angle minus 1.76 degree solving it final answer will become 12.94 angle 31.1 degree this is the impedance and the final imp this impedance is like till now and now these impedance in series with this and we have to add this impedance in these given impedances and z total will become z stator z equal plus zf 
बिकम जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फोर वन प्लस जे वन पॉइंट वन जीरो सिक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन फोर एंगल थर्टी वन पॉइंट वन बाई सॉल्विंग इट वैल्यू विल बिकम एंगल थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स डिग्री सो दी स्टेटर करंट स्टेटर करंट विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय जी टोटल इज इक्वल टू वी फेस हेयर इट इज यूजिंग स्टेटर करंट वी फेस दी फेस इज दिस इज लाइन टू लाइन वोल्टेज सो हेयर द वोल्टेज वैल्यू इज यूज पर फेस बिकॉज दीज वैल्यूज आर पर फेस सिंगल फेस so here v phase value is just dividing this value by under root 3 you will get 266 angle 0 degree divided by angle 33.6 so this is the current value which is lagging the part c part c is the power factor power factor already calculated here is minus 33.6 the power factor is equal to cos into 33.6 degree 833 lagging this minus sign shows that the power factor is lagging now the part d part d is the power converted and p out p converted and p out i am solving it quickly so you can solve it by yourself from the book in order to move towards p converted first have to calculate the p input P input is equal to under root three V T I L cos of theta. Putting all these values, it will become what? Then P stator copper loss three I one square R one. Putting all these values, its value is become six eighty five watt. then p of air gap is equal to p input minus p stator copper loss is equal to 11845 watt now p converted p converted is equal to 1 minus s into p of ag which is equal to 11585 watt this is the p converted now p out is p converted minus p rotational losses p converted is 11585 minus 1100 equal to 10485 now part e 
पॉट ई इज द टॉर्क एंड यूज एंड टॉर्क लोड देर इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन टॉर्क एंड यूज एंड टॉर्क लोड टॉर्क लोड इज एट द आउटपुट एंड टॉर्क एंड यूज इज एट द पावर कन्वर्टेड एंड सो टॉर्क एंड यूज फॉर्मूला इज गिवन एज वी ऑलरेडी स्टडी टी एंड यूज इज इक्वल टू पी ऑफ ए जी आवर डब्ल्यू सेंक्रोनस इलेवन एट फोर्टी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई वन एटी एट पॉइंट फाइव विल बिकम सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट एट न्यूटन मीटर वेयर एज इन टॉर्क लोड टॉर्क लोड इज एट द आउटपुट साइड इट इज इक्वल टू पी आउट डिवाइडेड बाई डब्ल्यू एम P out is ten four eighty five divided by one eighty four point four become fifty six point nine newton meter. And now at the end is the efficiency. Efficiency you all know is equal to P out divided by P in. Multiply by hundred percent. P out is ten four eighty five. P in is twelve five three zero. Multiply by hundred, and its efficiency of motor will become eighty three point seven percent. Now in this example again, you will see the efficiency is very less as compared to the transformer. Transformers are more efficient device than this induction motor. So here we are concluding this lecture. Okay, thanks.